Hi, it's me again with Corel Bell Tips and Tricks. Somebody's having trouble bringing in a SVG file. And for the one I'm doing, one, I don't understand the tranny, uh, what it's doing. But the file you purchased has three formats, PNG, SVG, and a DXF. I'm pretty sure if you open this as a PNG, it would work. But we're going to go in and import it. as a SVG and import it. And there are some problems. Look at, look what it does. I mean, I don't, I do not, I've never seen this before. It's moving, I'm stopping right there and it's moving it around. I even can put P and it won't put it in the center of the page. After a while, it'll finally stop. But if you look, there are no measurements. There's no size. It's all grayed out. It's like it's not there. So if you only has an SVG, I would suggest going up to file and export and export it as a PNG. And we'll call it test five. And then let it do it saying it's going to come up with this window and say, okay. And then right click your mouse and import it. Now it's a PNG and it's measurable. It's 6.71, it's a totally different file. Now I do not like the bounding box. It does not show up and I'm a little, I do not do too much with PNGs files. If we put it at the back of the page, there's nothing there. But for the one I'm doing it for, that's not the one I sent you. So let's do this. Let's import it as the DXF. DXF is a great vector. The only problem with this, you know, one inch, it's, it's humongous. I mean, it's ridiculously big. If you look, it's, it is all kind of broken apart. I mean, it is 400 and something inches. So let's reduce that, put it kind of in the center of the page. And it looks really bad. Uh, there's a lot of nodes, but what I would do in this case, I would go ahead and size it to what size you want. With your ratio locked, I'm gonna make it that seven inches. Then, see there's a, there's a ton of nodes. And that doesn't really matter with what you're engraving. Uh, this is a little bit long way around it, but it's gonna help you, our nudge factor seven, we're gonna set our, our size is seven, I'm gonna set it on eight. I am going to group all this together, control G. The reason for that, I wanna be able to change it. Now I'm going to take the smart fill tool. Uh, he just showed me he engraved it on a cup and it worked. So I'm going to use black RGB to fill in every letter. Now, normally I would nudge, but in this case, we don't have to nudge and see those two letters were joined together. Uh, this is kind of the long way around, but it's a safe, uh, sure bet that it's gonna work. And then, you know, the other parts are pretty easy to fill in. Whoop. Uh, and the reason I grouped it together is so I can delete this, uh, the hairline or the line that's making it up. Takes a little bit of time, but when you get to the last letter it's a pretty cool file, but the, you know, the bad thing is you can't just select it and right click black because the whole thing will turn black or it'll t it, well, it does some of it. See it turned in the inside of the A. So we can't really do that. So we're just going to have to, uh, play along and, and, uh, do the best we can. And just, it doesn't take very long. 
you know, you can just click and fill it in. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I purposely left, uh, it, whoop, it grouped together. I, I went outside the box and I'm going to do a few more and then zoom in. And because we're not having to nudge it out of the way, we'll be able to see if we get every letter and every date and every uh, part of the skull and the flag done. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the letters or the star and I'm gonna move it out of the way. I nudged it to the right. I'm gonna take now and hit delete. So that deleted all that and then just nudge that back. So now you have a good, and I would group it together and then make it whatever size you want. Turn that yellow to make double sure outline or order back a page. And there you go. And then you can make it uh, whatever size you want. You know, it's grouped together. You know, you can reduce it or change it up here. You know, it's a little bit uh, taller than it is, or it's a little bit wider than it is tall. Uh, I guess you're really going to want to keep that. So you want to keep your ratio locked. And let's say you want it three. And then run that on a cup. Anyway, I hope that answered his question. Thank you for watching.